Good morning, everybody. I'm Bryant Coogan, our business development manager here at Ringsend, and also our building envelope specialist. Today, we're going to be talking about installing a Marvin Ultimate G2 double hung window when installing exterior rigid foam on a wall. A couple products that we're going to be talking about today are Halo Exterior Foam, which is a rigid foam board. We're going to be talking about zip flashing, zip stretch tape. We're also going to be talking about Benjamin Optic Hydro Gap SA which is a fully adhered continuous air and water barrier, but more importantly, it's a drainable house wrap that meets and exceeds 95% drainage efficiency, which is really crucial for a lot of exterior cladding products today. Now, why do we buck the window out? That's a really great question, right? One, we could run our foam here and then behind the flange of the window. But as you can see, it's one inch of foam. This is not a structural foam product. We want to make sure that we buck our window out to ensure that we have a structural member to nail or screw our window into. Then we run our foam directly up to the window buck, which makes it now a nice flush surface to mount our trim and then our siding products that go over that. All right, so here we are, ready to go ahead and flash this portion of the wall. As you can see on this side of the wall, flashing the windowsill pan is more traditional. And over here, we actually have a one inch overhang which receives the foam. What we wanna do, and something that I find that makes it easy for me is to use a piece of straight flash to allow me to get proper coverage from the windowsill all the way down. So as you can see with the regular stretch flash, it's really easy to stretch it down right onto the actual sheathing itself. But with a one inch overhang, I like to use regular straight flash to make sure that I get proper coverage it's a little easier to fold this down and cut it to make it fit nice and tight so we get a nice airtight and watertight seal. And now we can move on to our stretch flash. And now our window sill is nice, airtight, watertight. We don't have to worry about any standing water. Now a lot of you guys have seen me do some window install best practice videos either on our YouTube channel or visiting ringzen.com, but today, with new exterior rigid foam being added to the code and an option for insulation, we wanna make sure that we are installing our window properly. Now, one of the things that we wanna do is not only just flash it properly, but when we're framing the window, we wanna do what's called a buck. We wanna buck the window out to meet the thickness of the foam. Now, today we're gonna to be using one inch halo exterior foam, and I've bucked out this window one inch to make sure that it can receive the foam into the side here. Now that we've done that and we framed out the window, we wanna make sure that we're flashing this Marvin Ultimate window properly. Now, like I said, we're using HydroGap SA and we're also highlighting Zip R6. Zip R6 is a product that's got the zip sheathing with an integrated WRB coating on it with an R6 polyiso foam behind it. So I'm gonna show you two different methods here. One, flashing the window to ex receive exterior foam and then flashing onto the zip. That way you guys have options so you can meet the new energy codes. So now we're at the point where we wanna actually flash the window itself. So I've installed the window, I've shimmed the window up, and now we need to add our corner gaskets. Just as a reminder, they do not send corner gaskets with the windows anymore. So now we need to use our flashing tape that we're gonna be using to flash the flanges and cut them into L shapes to cover our corner gaskets. Now with the corner gaskets, just like with our flashing, we wanna make sure that we get a minimum of a quarter inch onto the window to make sure that we cover up the integrated flange. Now that our corner gaskets are on, we're gonna use zip six inch flashing tape. Now Marvin requires, when installing this traditionally against the sheathing, a minimum of a four inch flashing tape. That way, we cover the inch and a half flange and get minimum two inches onto the actual sheathing or the house wrap that we're using on our building. But with a bucked out window where we're increasing the distance one inch out, we need to take into consideration not only the inch and a half flange, the one inch drop, and then two inch coverage onto the HydroGap SA or two inch coverage onto our zip, depending on how we're detailing our wall. That's why it's really important when we're doing bucked out windows to receive exterior rigid foam we increase our tape size from four inch to six inch so we have proper coverage over the flange and onto the house wrap. All right, so we're gonna be concentrating on this half of the wall with the Hydro Gap SA. Like I said, we had to increase our tape to a six inch 
rather than a four inch to make sure that we're covering the window buck itself. Just like with any regular flashing that we would do on a window with a Marvin, we still wanna make sure that we cover the integrated nailing flange. And if you do not see the flange, that means you have plenty of coverage. And try to keep it as smooth as possible so we don't get what's called fish mouse. That's one of the biggest culprits of water intrusion on windows is when we have a wrinkle in the tape near the outer edge. So as you can see, I've covered the flange. I've come the one inch down for the window buck that brought the window out, and now a minimum of a two inch onto the Hydro Gap SA. Now we want to repeat that process both on the both legs and header. Now just like the sides, we want to make sure that we get at least a quarter inch onto the frame of the window to cover up that integrated nailing flange. It's important to make sure we get it nice and tight. We want to roll it onto the buck of the window and ensure it's as flat as possible. Now, as you can see, we have a little overhang. Just gonna cut this nice and clean. Now we have a fully flashed Marvin G2 Ultimate Double Hung Window on a bucked out window to receive exterior rigid foam. Now we're gonna move over to the Zip R6 side of things. Now, some folks love Zip R6 for a couple different reasons. It's got an integrated WRB panel, the 7 16 panel, and it's backed by a one inch R6 polyiso foam board. So not only do we get our WRB, we also get that requirement for exterior rigid foam. Another reason people really love the Zip R6 is because now it allows us to refer back to the install best practices that Marvin says of using a minimum of a four inch tape rather than having to go to a six inch tape like we used over at the Hydro Gap SA. Both options are really great, but this is gonna allow you to install the window in a more traditional style like you would direct to sheathing on a traditionally framed house. Now I'm gonna continue on with the six inch tape because that's what we have today. And just like the other side and just like what Marvin requires, we wanna flash our flange a minimum quarter inch onto the frame of the window and bring it down right over the top of our Zip R6 on this side. I like to extend the flashing about one and a half to two inch above the top flange. Now with all window and door flashings, we wanna make sure we roll all of these to make sure that it activates the adhesive and bites into the substrate that it's sticking to, okay? So now that we have our side flange flashed, we're gonna go ahead and flash the top flange. And just like the other side, since I rolled it one quarter inch onto the top of the window, I'm gonna take this, cut it, and make sure it's sitting nice and flat. Now you guys may be wondering why have I used zip flashing tape not only on zip, but on HydroGap SA. Zip flashing tape is an acceptable flashing tape to be used with HydroGap. Benjamin Updike and HydroGap have their own tape called HydroFlash as well. They are both acrylic based flashings, which are really great for cold weather adhesion, especially up here in New England. We get a lot of cold days when we're still working outside. So this will help you perform in a lot of different temperatures all year round. So now the Zip R6 is all flashed. The Marvin window is flashed appropriately with a minimum of four inch, so we use six inch here. And as you can see, it's a little bit of an easier install using a Zip R6 panel because it's gonna be more of a traditional window installation rather than having a little bit of a trickier installation with a bucked out window like this. Now what we're gonna do is move on to the installation of the exterior rigid foam on the hydro gap side of things. Uh, what I love about Halo exterior rigid foam, one, the R value compared to other exterior foams like XPS, it's an R5 at one inch, but this product also is a vapor open exterior rigid foam, allowing you for a fully vapor open wall assembly, which is bringing water gases all the way outside of the wall and breathing to the outside rather than trapping it somewhere within the layers of your wall. Now what I've done is pre-cut this so it fits around our bucked out window. And what you wanna do when we're installing exterior rigid foam is we want capped nails. We need our hammer, of course. And then I'm gonna push this in. And as you can see, once this is installed, it creates a nice flush surface for the installation of our trim and also our exterior cladding. Now people ask how many fasteners to use when installing Halo Exterior. It depends on how long you're gonna be leaving it out to weather. This can be left out to the weather a little bit longer than traditional foam because it does have a coating on it, 
but you really do want to cover this up as soon as possible. I like to say put enough fasteners in it to hold it up onto the wall because your exterior cladding your, or your siding, all the nails that we're going to be using to hold that up are really going to hold this onto the wall nice and tight. Now, that's another question too. Now with rigid foam, how do I nail my siding on? We do want to increase the size of our fastener one inch to take into consideration that one inch foam. So if you use inch and a half nails to put your siding on before, we're going to need to use two and a half inch nails to put our siding on to make sure we have enough penetration into the framing members of the building to hold the siding on. And just with a few cap nails, now our halo exterior is held onto the wall. It's received into the window buck appropriately, and that's a fully installed Marvin Ultimate G2 double hung window on a bucked out assembly with exterior rigid foam. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you have any more questions, please call our sales professionals at Ringsend or go to ringsend.com to reach out to me. Thank you guys so much. I'm Bryant Coogan.